you can do anything in this world. Anything. You can accomplish anything in this world. And I'm going to show you in this video how you can gain the ability to do that. I, I was talking to a friend yesterday and we were talking about well, a bunch of stuff, but mathematics came up. She studies mathematics. She's very, very good at mathematics. And she was saying something along the lines of, I feel like because I learned all the math that I was able to learn, that I can do anything. And, I, and I'm paraphrasing here. But what she was trying to say is that because she was able to do a very, very hard thing, like learn a lot of mathematics, she felt empowered. And so the side quest I want to give you in this video is that I want you to think about something hard, something difficult, something very, very hard that you've done in your life. Because what you can do when you find that, when you attach yourself to that, when you realize that you are capable, is you look back on that and that gives you confidence, that gives you motivation. And a lot of people, a lot of people lack that. And when you lack that, it's gonna be harder to do anything. So you got to believe in yourself, my friends. You have to believe that you can do anything in this world. And I was lucky. I was so, I mean, I was so lucky. And the reason I was lucky, well, well two reasons. One, you know, I taught myself to code in C before even going to college. I was a high school dropout. And that gave me an unshakable confidence. You know, I walked in to my first programming class in college and I felt like a rock star. You know, I was a master of all the little nuances and little details surrounding the C programming language. And I thought, I learned all this my, on my own. Why do people even go to school? And so I felt really, really empowered. And I used that to tell myself that I could learn anything, including mathematics. I told myself, if I can teach myself to code in C, then I can certainly learn math. So what I want you to do, I want you to think about something you've done in your life on your own, or maybe even with the help of others, but something hard that you've done. And what you can do is you can use that as a source of inspiration, as a source of strength, so that when you encounter other hard things in life, you're able to say, yeah, I can learn abstract algebra. Yeah, I, I can become an electrical engineer. Hey, if I want to be a doctor, I can be a doctor, right? Believe, believe. And I've encountered a lot of people who, who don't believe. And I guess I've just always had that unshakable belief where I've always believed that anything is possible in this world. It's, it's probably a personality thing too. I'm very optimistic. And I'm just asking you to be my friends. Believe that you can do anything in this world because once you start believing, once you believe that you can do something, it makes you that much better, right? If, if you walk into, here's a really good example. If you walk into a classroom, if you walk into a college classroom and you think that the class is hard and you're worried because people fail and the teacher is bad and you think you're gonna do bad, you're already kind of setting yourself up for failure. But if you walk into that same classroom and you believe that you can learn the material, you believe that you can learn anything, you're going to do better because attitude is everything. That confidence is, is everything. You know, I, I've talked about this before, but when I was in college, I took a psychology class get some water here. And there was a psychology club, which I wasn't a part of. And the slogan or the motto for the psychology club was that perception is reality. 
And I'll never forget that because I thought, wow, well, there's, there's things in my life I don't like and there's things I do like. But if I can perceive them as positive, if I can view my life from a positive lens, then I will be happier internally and I will have more confidence and I will be more successful. It just, it just makes you feel better. And when you feel good, you do good. You know, if you, if you believe that you're intelligent, if you believe that you're capable, if you believe that you can work nonstop and grind for hours, if you believe that you can learn and do things in the world, then that's a huge step. Because if you don't believe, again, what you have to believe, my friends. So after this video, again, the side quest is think about think about something you've done hard. It can be anything. And, and for everyone, it's going to be different. It's a very personal thing. And, and use that as a way to remind yourself that you can do it. And you, and you might think, well, I can't. I'm bad at math. Let me just say this. I, I've taught thousands, I'm not exaggerating, thousands of students in college. I've had hundreds of classes. I mean, I've probably taught over a hundred different algebra classes, over a hundred different statistics classes. I mean, so many Calc 1 classes, so many, I mean, so many classes. So I've seen thousands of people from all levels, you know, the, the, the best students, students that are just so much better than I am. I'm getting goosebumps thinking about some of these students who have this raw ability and they don't even know it. They don't even know it. They, they don't even, they don't even realize and, and students who struggle, they're just not that good at mathematics. They're just not that good at doing it. And I've seen them rise up. I've seen these students who are weak rise up. And I've seen the ones that are strong and don't know it rise up even higher. Believe, right? Believe that you can do anything. So find that thing. After this video, I want you to find that thing. Think about something you've done in your life, and it doesn't have to be academic, something you've done in your life that you're kind of proud of, you feel good about. You say, hey, if I can do this, I can do anything. And use that as a weapon, as a weapon of mass success, as a weapon of, I'll say mass destruction, right? From That was a thing years ago. I just saw Oppenheimer, so great math movie, by the way. But... Believe, my friends, believe that you can do anything. I think that's all I wanted to say in this video. And, and before I forget, because I sometimes forget, I forget a lot, check out my math courses. You know, I do have courses on calculus, algebra, differential equations, abstract algebra, advanced calculus. They're on Udemy. Use the links from my website, mathsorcerer.com. It's not a very good website, but those links, use those links. It helps me greatly. Check out my books. I've got math books, motivational books. Links in the description. But more important than all of that is I want you to walk away from this video believing that you can do anything because you can. You know, I, I think about the students that I've had who have walked into my classes and they're just like, oh, I'm not very good at math. I got a C in my previous math class. You know, I'm just trying to make it through. This is my last class. I'm thinking, ah, oh, these people, they just, they think they're no good. <laughs> you are good. You are good. You're, you're better than you think. You know, you're, you're better than you think. I remember I had a student once. The guy was jacked. I mean, he was huge. He was a, he was a professional bodybuilder. And uh, he had a really good attitude. You know, even though he thought he was bad at math, he had a really good attitude. And he rocked it. You know, he, he turned it around. And he was actually, I think, I think he was considering doing more math just because he realized how good he was when he believed, you know, when he, when he put the work in. So start believing, my friends. You'd, you'd be surprised at what you can do. You would be surprised. And if, and if you think that you're not good, and if you think that some people don't have to study, it's not true. You know, everyone gets to a point in their academic careers where they have to work hard. Everyone, you know everyone. And you don't really realize that until you get to grad school because it's so hard, you know? So you got like the best students from each school going to another school to learn math, right? That's what happens in grad school, right? You have all these 
really good students going to school again for math. I mean, who gets a math degree? To go to grad school, you have to get a math degree and then you have to apply to grad school, get in. So you've got the best students. And when you see these people work incredibly hard, you realize that everyone works hard at math. So yeah, anyways, I'm rambling. I'll end this video.